hey guys welcome back to my channel please excuse the background i have to find another mic so that will fit well with my iphone so please bear with me in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i got this beautiful vacation vibe summertime um, makeup look it was fun doing it i'm so sorry that y'all are seeing this uh cap cut is giving me the flux on uploading this so i've been doing as much cutting out as i can so that i can get this video out to you guys thank you guys so much for watching if you like please uh subscribe hey guys so again i'm going to show you guys how i got this beautiful glowy skin i want to show off my nails and here i'm showing you that my skin is already prepped i'm doing this in natural lighting so that's why you see the sun is in my highlight face before i add my moisturizer I'm going to do something that I've never done before, go in with primer. So I'm priming with the One Size Beauty Sweat Proof Primer to start um, the uh, process of not having sweat. This is how I prep. This is for oily skin. If you with dry skin, you don't really too much have to uh, do all that prepping. You'll just prep in the areas that where you sweat at. But I'm oily, so I want to combat that down. So I'm going to use a mattifying moisturizer. This is by Dermalogica. A mattifying moisturizer is perfect for those with oily skin because you want to get the skin matte in the inner perimeter of the face and on in this video I'm going to show you how you can have that healthy glow on the outer perimeter of your face and I'm just going to set using my Morphe translucent setting powder um, to set and further mattify just the t-zone area of the face so i'm doing this again in natural lighting no this is not a ring light that's why i like doing my makeup in front of uh, the window because where the sun hits so that you guys can see how the makeup will look when i actually walk outside into society <laughs> if you guys want to see a brow tutorial or an updated brow tutorial let me know i'll definitely be getting that out for you guys i might just do it anyway just because <laughs> But um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys this makeup look like. I put my foot into this makeup look. So much has changed, so much of my techniques has changed. And that's the good thing about makeup is that you're always evolving and changing and adding on your take to make you stand out and not blend in. So I always add like translucent powder in my T-zone before I add primer. Um, just like I said, it starts to combat the oiliness. Keep in mind that products do have oil in them and it will start to get oily during the day. If I, if you were me and you're like me, you would carry a powder puff like I have right here and a travel size translucent powder in your purse. So right here I'm going in, I'm going to do a subtle eye with a pop of color. So I'm going in with an eye primer and um, priming my eye and then just going in with a basic neutral palette. Um, keeping the eye very very neutral and very very soft so basically this is all self-explanatory I really don't need to have to go into depth you have seen plenty of eye tutorials from me so I'm just gonna go ahead and stop right here and then I'm going to pick up when it's time to get to the base so I can explain how I did my base to get that beautiful healthy glowy skin
here I'm starting to add warmth to my face again bronzing my face and contouring at the same time I find that sometimes I like a very natural contour like you, you know that I contoured my nose but it's not overpowering you don't see the contouring that's what I like I like a very warm contour around my nose because it looks like I just been sun kissed by the sun it's pretty self-explanatory as you can see here I'm building up everything building up trying to figure out exactly how I want my contour because you can definitely shape your nose um, any way that you want it you can definitely it's all in it's all in the contour um, I'm going to be contouring my nose in two different ways as you can see till I finally get that desired um, look that I want with my nose I like to start off sheer with my um, my contour and then after that I like to start to go darker so that it could definitely um, give that effect of a very contoured nose. Okay, so after I go in with that contour um, and bronze, I decided that I wanted it to be darker. Like I said, I love it darker. So I go in with a darker um, concealer. And as you can see, I am chiseling out where my cheekbones are. I'm carving out those cheekbones. And I'm not going down because I don't want to give like that, not draggish look, but not overly chiseled. I just want it sub, you know, nice and, and um, nice and soft. And I'll just use the rest of it, sheer out and use the rest of it going down. After that, I'm applying the um, the bright highlight into the center of my face. As you can see, um, it's time to um, brighten it up. And as I brighten it up, then I'll go back in and I'll darken. And that's how I get my desired look. It's a process, but it's, it's a real good process. And I find it works very good. And it just gives that beautiful, beautiful, um, that beautiful flawless base after using it.
here is where the magic happens this is where i'm starting to darken up uh, my contour and also get that bronzing i am using a as you can see a very warm um concealer i want to say that i actually use um i think a l'oreal infallible i don't remember because <laughs> i was using so many products that they um as you can see is not only uh, chiseling my cheeks and deepening my contour but it's also warming my face giving me that definitely um sun kiss vacation vibe look and this is how i got it just by using a warm um concealer now if you wanted to further contour you would definitely go in with a cool concealer and do it with a cool concealer um you can use one with a gray cast, but I wouldn't use a lot with a gray undertone to it. But I like to use a, um, and it just depends on your skin. I find that you can use that gray on a neutral skin tone, um, not a cool and not a warm. But yes, I'm warming up my skin and also giving myself um, a contour at the same time. So this is how I got that bronzy, um, real bronze skin. It's really simple to do. It's very easy to do. And like I said, you see how I'm going across with my nose now. I'm like, okay, now I am working it up to give myself that desired contour that I wanted. I started off sheer. That would be great for a naked look. But baby, we're not doing nothing naked about this today. We want the face to be bold or go home. And also always leave cons uh, your foundation, the rest of your foundation that you didn't use, leave it on your hand. As you can see how I am softening it out. I'm still having that beautiful um, bronze skin, but I'm softening out to marry everything together so there'll be no lines of demarcation. It just be straight up. She chiseled the mess out of her cheeks. <laughs> And I'm only applying it in those areas that need to be softened up. I'm not applying it in my highlight area. But if you wanted to go over that highlight and tone it down, you are more than welcome to do so. But I only wanted to tone down the bronze so I could get the bronze uh, look um, basically melted into the skin. You see how I'm going all around my nose with it. And that's not a lot of product left on my hand. It's very little. So that's why I'm using it. Um, that's a tip for the beginner makeup artist is always don't wipe off that foundation use that foundation and this has come with a lot of trial and error and then I decided that I wanted to add a warmth or a um, yellow base to the middle of my skin to give that kiss that highlighted kiss now by all means if you liked how I had it before you can skip this is just what I like to do I'm showing you guys what I like to do but you can always skip that rest and before you do this to a client I would always check with the client first especially if this is your first time working with her or this is her first time or his first time wearing makeup they really don't want to be overpowered they want to look as natural as possible so you more than welcome I mean not more than welcome you always want to make sure that you are checking in with your client letting your client see the, the process before you start any next steps because you always want to ask them if they want you to add on something or they want you to take off something and if they don't like a bright highlight like this then you can always go over it with the foundation to tone it down so that's why you do not wipe the foundation off of your hand until after the process of everything is over and you have applied your lip color and you, you want to clean up because if you didn't need it, then you can always, um, you know, wipe it off. Always keep wet wipes with you. So as you can see, that product has sheared out. And since it's sheared out, I'm able to blend it up to keep it from creasing. So this is how I like to do it. And then I go back in to carve out that cheekbone. So here I'm applying a liquid blush liquid and clean liquid and cream blushes have been my jam lately um i had started doing it on my daughter and then um when i do her makeup from time to time she likes some time for me to do her makeup for her and um when i did her makeup i was like okay let me try this on myself and i've been loving it 
so this is an LA colors one this is very very affordable again you want to start off with affordable products and find products that work for you um, it doesn't matter to me whether they're expensive or whether they're uh, cheap I have been um, doing makeup long enough to know what products work for me and what products are just for the hype um, so this right here is a water-based um, a water-based uh, liquid liquid uh, blush so I have to do buildable so I can get it to see I like my blush to be very very um, heavy um, very very deep in myself um, I heard good things about the Juvia's place and I do have I want to say I want I have a sample of a the rare beauty I heard about rare beauty as well so I'm going to try that it's like plenty of them um, one size beauty has a trio that is perfect and it saves you a lot of money um, and fashion fair has it um, one day I'm going to do another makeup look using nothing but Fashion Fair products and Fashion Fair products only because it is a black owned and it was the first black owned uh, makeup brand. Here I am adding a cream based highlight to my skin. As y'all can see from the sun and the natural sun, look how I have that glow. Yes, yes ma'am, that looks like Hey, you've been on vacation, baby. It is agreeing with you. Life is agreeing with you right now, honey. You is just giving that glow, baby. You on vacation or you in love. <laughs> so yeah, that liquid um that cream highlight is going to um intensify the highlight and that liquid blush is going to intensify the blush that I'm using. The uh liquid the cream highlight comes from the Ruby Kisses palette and right here i added um i use translucent i want to say i might have did translucent or i might have started look like i just started adding the uh powders that's what i did i started adding the powder of bronzers and stuff um to my skin hey i'm allowed to forget steps sometime too now <laughs> and here i'm marrying everything all together deepening um and building up as you can see and setting everything I've been doing makeup for, a few, for quite a long time now, a few years, and everything comes as a hit and miss. You have those good days, you have those bad days, but as I'm doing my makeup, I'm always amazed at myself as how much I have evolved as a makeup artist. Um, I do enjoy watching other makeup artists, and I'll get some tips from them and tweak it into my own, but most of this is coming from, you know, doing my own makeup, finding what works for me. Um, here, I'm deepening up my contour, but I'm not deepening up enough to where it looks like it's muddy, as you can see. And even though I'm adding all this, can't you see how pretty that blush is just peeking from within? That's why I love using a cream uh, blush now. And here I am taking um, the translucent powder. I want to say this is the Morphe translucent powder that I use. I don't think I grabbed the one size beauty, even though I love the one size, uh, the one size beauty. Um, I have plenty of Laura Mercier's. Um, I have a sample set of those. Now for myself, I'll go get travel size. I even get travel size for my kit until I build up the clientele that I want. If you do get full size, you can always get um, containers to put those in to save room in your kit. And whenever you run out, instead of going by another travel size, you can just always fill up or you can buy travel size. And when you run out, you can just use the full size that you got and just add, you know, just um, add it to the travel size. Instead of having to always go buy, it saves time and, um, and money because we know everything is so expensive now. So as you can see, I enjoy using brushes to set my um like my under eyes and everything but i've been lately gravitating toward this powder puff if you wet the powder puff if you want a very sheer to start off sheer if you actually wet the powder puff it would actually look so beautiful that's what i did i wet it so it's kind of wet i use a spray bottle i don't soak it or drench it in water i use um a spray bottle and i spray till it gets uh dampened enough for me to add and as you can see look how pretty it does to set and now i'm using this wet and wild um and sesame street collaboration to um to spray my face to start setting the powder and then i go in with the i want to say that is the opv beauty um yellow translucent powder it's a little too yellow this is perfect for um I have medium, I call, I, I say I'm medium, um, 
but dark skin it would just it would just pop so I put like this in a container so that I can have for when I'm doing my clients and then to tone it down you would definitely go over with your foundation um, color and it would still look pretty um, I have this one a deep banana this is what I would call a rich banana uh, translucent powder and then I have the traditional light yellow uh, translucent powder I also have the peach and I also have the pink so I have I have a variety, you know what I'm saying? I always have choices, nothing like choices. <laughs> As you can see, I'm setting it here. And that was with a dry powder puff. Now I'm going back in with this dry powder puff to set the nose contour area. Um, I started also setting around my nose uh going in with the contour to set around the nose as well we just tend to set on the side of the nose and don't and and just not pay attention that you also need to set um at the front part of the nose the bridge of the nose or, or whatnot just to get that desired uh contour and i'm using that was the morphe translucent powder i was using i don't think i like i said i don't think i grabbed uh one size beauty Now, sometimes I will use like the, um, and I know that looks funny, but in the end, once I dust the powder off, you're going to see exactly it's going to come out perfect. It's, the nose contour is going to come out perfect. Trust me. Trust the process on this. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, um, I like to use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder to contour and highlight as well. That will give you a very soft, very natural contour as well. Um, I even use pressed powders to contour and bronze and highlight the skin. That works as well. You don't really have to go out and buy a lot of those products, but if you want to keep those in your kit for a variety, you can. And as you can see, the reason why I'm going in a downward area is because I don't want to go all the way in with that contour. And it works out fine. You guys are going to see it. It looks very soft. And so here I'm dusting off everything. As you can see how I'm going up and down and I'm working that translucent powder in the upward motion. And you see how it just comes out. Look how nice it came out. And I'm just working it um, out on the sides right here as well. You know when you're doing your makeup something is going to itch now i'm going to take this makeup forever uh foundation uh press powder it's a foundation powder it's a foundation in powder form and i'm just going to work that in the areas that i didn't um highlight and contour in and you can see how i'm toning down that um that banana powder and it's still going to give that beautiful um effect As you can see, I was like, okay, yeah, let me get some of that off there. <laughs> okay, and then again, I'm going to spray my face again to tone down that powdery look and to marry everything together. And I'm using that brush to work it in gently, you know, gently, <laughs> gently tapping in. So not as to disturb all of that hard work that we've done. You don't ever want to um, go hard or, you know, you just want to pat, 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 gently pat. And now I'm going back in with, um, and I'm working it in. I'm using that blush. If you are a beginner makeup artist, I definitely highly recommend the Crayon Case Big Book of Blushes because those are all the blushes, the contour you will need to hold you off and to start you off with. Instead of having a variety, you can buy a variety if you would like, but if you are starting off and you are on a budget, invest in that. I'm actually ordering one for my kit. That is my personal. I bought it when it first dropped. I was, I was up. I hurry up and got it. 
but um, I'm going to definitely order it for my kit. I like to add a little blush to my nose, give me a look like a blushing um, effect, and it just makes it look so cute. It makes the tip of your nose look so cute. And here I am using uh, what's left on the powder, pu powder puff for translucent to make sure that I'm marrying everything together. And if you are an OG, y'all, and I'm talking about early 2000s, I'm not going to say early 2000s. I'm going to say like the mid, um, the mid 2000s um, era, maybe old maybe like 2010 2011 or before you already know when o when ofra cosmetics first dropped they had rodeo drive um i received that in my kit when it before boxy charm uh collaborated with ipsy and when i saw that they gave me rodeo drive i was like what because maybe rodeo drive and mac whisper of guilt had the beauty community in a chokehold honey that's what you saw that's all that you saw and then um, Wedding Wild came out with theirs, but baby, I was so glad to finally be using that Rodeo Drive. I hurry and pulled out that palette. And right here, I'm using a Morphe Cream um, Eyeliner to set my eye to do this pop of color. I'm gonna add a pop of color and also add some color mascara to the bottom of my eyes. And that is going to be it and, I, and highlight my inner um, eyelight and do my lips. And that is going to be it. Thank you guys for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And tell a friend to tell a friend. This was fun for me to do. It had my skin looking bronzy. Um, I had a lot of compliments of people asking me about my glow. They was like, baby, you look so cute. I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I said, I'm always amazing myself as how much I have grown and evolved. And to add these colors before I um, get off, I use a Urban Decay electric palette. They do not sell this anymore. But they have plenty of palettes that have like this um this green this grass green i didn't use the lime green and then i went in with the pinky rose bright lights palette and i also added that green underneath as well i added a yellow um, liner to my eye line because I added yellow to, to the inner corner but I decided that I wanted to do like a blue and I went in with a blue and then I went in I want to say with a blue um mascara colored mascara to add color to the bottle of my mascara and like I said again I'm always amazed at how much I've evolved as a makeup artist I'm, I'm not where I desire or resonate to be but I keep praying and I keep going um, and I, I know that someone is watching. Um, I'm always happy when I do get clients and they get to see, you know, the growth because I do keep all of the old pictures so that people can see exactly how much I have evolved as a makeup artist. Um, makeup is all in fun. Um, you do not have to keep it on all the time. Um, it's just all in fun just to enhance the beauty that is all already within. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Uh, thank you for watching my video again and tell a friend to tell a friend so that we all can be friends and don't forget to hit that subscribe button leave a comment and I'm also open for suggestions any videos that you would like to see like any makeup looks that you would like to see you know by all means just please leave a comment and I'll help I'll be try I'll try my best to execute that request so again I'll see you guys in the next video take care and I'll see you soon